Hello guys, how are you? I hope that all is fine and the purpose of this video is just to share uh, some of the important concepts related to airspace and aircraft engineering and uh, the, the topic is just from the previous video which was about the steady coordinated slip without uh, the uh, slip and uh, also that was at beta is equal to zero. Right now with the help of uh, the concept and also with the help of the assumptions already done for that the steady coordinated turn and uh, we consider that what or how the uh, motion equations were uh, translated into aerodynamics uh, forces and along with uh, weight factor for an aircraft. Right now with the help of the estimation of the roll derivative which is CLR okay we're going to uh, find out the rolling moment which is the rolling moment equation cl is equal to clp which is pv into tv of t which is uh, the velocity with the turn and clr dot rb into t into velocity due to the turn plus cl b beta into beta cl uh, lambda a into lambda a and c l lambda r into lambda r. This is the prime equation for the rolling moment or the rolling moment equation which governs or find out the estimation of the roll derivative as well. We're going to find out how and uh, rolling or the roll derivative is because of uh, the aileron and aileron is just at the uh, back end of the wing, both wings and on the back end but on the uh, far, far more side uh, on, on, on the back end of uh, the both the wings. So that aileron normally creates the rolling moment and we have to find the rolling derivative or the roll derivative. How are we going to find it? Uh, obviously as an engineer our main task is just to create an assumption so that we can come close uh, to the figures as per uh, the assumptions so that we can estimate or approximate uh, the uh, record or the data or uh, data or the record at different uh, points or uh, during an aircraft movement or the maneuvering so that we can calculate how well our assumptions are made and how well it is uh, close uh, to the uh, international standard atmospheric and uh, atmosphere so that it may help us to uh, actually get as much accurate result as possible. So that is why we normally do a couple of uh, tests, uh, not a couple of tests, uh, more than uh, tests on a regular basis on an aircraft and uh, if it is on a maintenance point of view we normally do that as well. If it is uh, just for the sake of uh, the test or the experiment specifically for an aircraft, if it's very from one aircraft to another aircraft obviously we have to record or uh, store our data or the record data for different aircrafts for different different types and uh, for different variants obviously we have to keep in mind the different record but the main theme of actually doing the experiments is normally more or less the same but uh, the purpose is to get aware ourselves to different type of aircraft for different types of uh, systems actually applied in that aircraft obviously we can update our knowledge and update ourselves as well right now just sticking to the point and keeping it short rolling moment equation is in front of you and uh, with the CLP because of the uh, also the uh, rudder or the tail uh, the vertical tail PB into T or VT and uh, CLR which was because of rudder RB into 2V and CL beta and CL uh, uh, lambda A because of aileron and CLR lambda R into lambda R that is also because of the rudder, rudder. And uh, for statics, for steady sta state, which is static case, you have to consider that CL, okay, which is uh, normally is being represented for the uh, rolling moment. So obviously uh, the rolling coefficient and uh, CL is equal to zero, P is equal to zero, R is equal to zero. When, it, when this would be zero, P would be zero and uh, eventually R would be zero, so that would be C L uh, beta into beta plus C L uh, what that's lambda a because of aileron into C L lambda r into lambda r. This is the equation. So C L uh, lambda a because of aileron and C L lambda r derivative C L r can be estimated. So we have to estimate the C L r, obviously, which is the uh, rolling uh, roll derivative. That is the 
main purpose of C calculating the CL or the derivative CLR has to be estimated. Neglecting CL lambda R, that is very small contribution we have uh, in this, we have to neglect this because of the rudder and uh, we have to neglect this, beta is also zero and also because of this, this is also uh, also not effective because of that p, and also that uh, uh, on, on on the on the tail side that that is negligible. That is a very small contribution. So the remaining part would be this, and uh, because of the aileron, these two parts will be forming uh, the equation which is equal to the C L of R, which is zero in this case. The rolling moment equation indicate that the aileron is applied solely to counteract the rolling moment due to the yaw which generally tends to bring the lower wing further down. So yaw is a part of, you can say uh, normally it's been created by uh, the vertical axis, the mom moment of the vertical axis and, and it is normally at the uh, tail side at the rudder and because of that moment we have to have a yaw and to counteract that uh, yaw the main part of this uh, of whole uh, the, the, the dominating part is aileron which normally counteract uh, the raw or the yawing uh, moment or the uh, or the yaw uh, or the or the rolling moment due to the yaw and that is why the uh, rolling moment of the yaw Okay, and uh, which is normally uh, also present at the aileron stage as well, at the wing stage as well, because uh, as I said, uh, it uh, it is normally aileron is normally is uh, ju just bring the uh, lower wing further down. Obviously, it is at the back end further, uh, of, uh, further right and further left at the back end of the two wings. So obviously, it may help us to get uh, get the wing further down. So that is why aileron is important, and for the aileron, it's. Uh, uh, we have to have the wing at uh, aileron obviously that may help us to create the wing at the further down so r would be g into uh, g into phi over uh, u. We in the previous actually section or the previous video we have calculated this whole uh, for the steady coordinated turn we calculated this r okay and uh, we calculated g and phi and u as well but just to replace it by v t because obviously it is the velocity to the turn we have to replace it by this and uh, as it mentioned in this uh, in the next line as well substituting this C L beta beta plus C L that is not the beta obviously that that is the case because we have to place the R which is G phi over V T B into two V of T plus C L of lambda A into lambda A is equal to zero, which is here it is C L of R. That is our main purpose of calculating the C L R. Okay. And that is because of uh, uh, the rudder as well, the rolling moment. So we have to calculate that as well. It is normally, it's not the R is not because of the rudder. It, it is because of the rolling moment. Okay, you have to consider that it is because of the rolling moment and uh, the roll derivative. That is the uh, symbol for roll derivative. And we have to estimate this one. Okay, with the help of uh, the equation, which is the rolling moment equation. Okay, the dominating equation is rolling moment. With the help of rolling moment, we're going to calculate the roll derivative. Okay, and the roll derivative is normally at the aileron, which is at the wing. And because of that aileron, because of that roll, we have calculated the what? What we have in the last video, we have calculated the steady coordinated turn, and most of the part was because of the wing. Okay, and obviously, a continuation of that, we want to have uh, the roll derivative as well, just to take the derivative, just to create an uh, estimation of because of the aileron, and it will help us to create or have the wing at a more suitable position as well. So that is why we have actually want to calculate a further estimation, a further derivative on the side on the on the back on the on the wing. That is now it is on the back side of the wing that may help us to create this angle and obviously we have uh, obviously we will able to actually have this equation as well just solving it out for g l g phi over uh, v uh, g phi over 2 into p into v or v t of square and minus c l of lambda a into lambda a just subtracting over there and we can we are just moving it out g alpha or what it's lambda a by alpha just solving it out for lambda a 
lambda a alpha will be over here and we get the relationship of 1 over v d square which is directly proportional so when we're going to change the lambda a because of the aileron the velocity will need to be at a very high value so that this equation or the value of this will be very small so that is why it is normally the inversely proportional so at the higher speed the uh, deflection because of the aileron will be very small so for that reason we have to have a rolling moment that is why we have created cl of r okay just to actually uh, maintain uh, the aircraft at a steady sta at a steady static position obviously and also to maintain the lateral and directional stability as well which is uh, the main part of uh, the main part and under this uh, static and electric direction uh, stability we have calculated the uh, steady uh, uh, coordinated turn as well without any slip and also we have calculated this roll derivative as well which is the part of the wing and aileron which is the part of the wing creating further estimation further stability uh, lateral and directional stability as far as the movement or the maneuvering of the aircraft is concerned so when we and it for the flight test just to keep in mind flight test to estimate a uh, roll derivative which is cl of r step one record uh, the takeoff weight of the aircraft okay record the takeoff weight of the aircraft number one is this and uh, record uh, the takeoff weight of the aircraft first of all you have to record the takeoff weight and uh, note down the velocity uh, altitude h and aileron deflection lambda a and uh, roll angle phi during steady coordinated turn maneuver obviously you just have to have different instruments for these uh, calculation and we can calculate the velocity with the help of the air uh, speed indicator and we have the different uh, uh, different uh, sort of uh, the uh, equipments for calculating the other two and uh, doing the steady coordinated turn now given the value of cl lambda a the other derivative clr can be estimated which is the roll derivative we have a value of cl lambda a and can be estimated with the help of the following equation this one is in front of you we have uh, we just we have extracted it from our calculation step four will be also plot lambda a and also the phi we have to calculate when we have the obviously the data in front of us, the recorded data a tabulated form we can actually find out the plot and have the relationship between lambda a into phi as well so this is whole process of flight test to estimate the roll derivative clr and during flight during the takeoff uh, takeoff uh, point we have to actually take a small test in experiment just to estimate the roll uh, derivative obviously if we want if the roll derivative is absolutely right Right. according to the equation that means that uh, we are the aircraft is in a safe uh, movement so i'm going to end up the video hope to see you with some other interesting concept related to these derivatives and also related to the yawning and concert uh, you are uh, yawning uh, coefficient probably in coming videos to hope to see you soon if you have any questions do comment like and subscribe till then take care and have a nice day